Over the many years of Balloon's Tower Defense 6, we've seen an abundance of power. At first, we had God Boosting. The act of getting a true Sun God Temple, Alchemist, Village, and Ultra Boost in order to make a tower as powerful as possible. For a while, this was the pinnacle of power. No tower would be able to surpass the God Boosting tactics until Hypersonic Abilities. Hypersonic Ability hacks into the raw powers of towers, making them abundantly more powerful and shoot incredibly fast. This then became the new tier for what real power really is. But recently, a new power has emerged. With the recent development of T6 towers, we have now seen an unprecedented amount of strength within the monkey army. But what would happen if we took God boosting, hypersonic towers, and a T6 monkey and combined them into one? I quit. What do you mean you quit? You heard me. I quit. I I'm out. I'm gone. You can't just quit. We have to defeat the monkeys. Have you seen what those furry little demons are capable of? They have a machine they call the Ray of Doom. You know what it does? Uh, shoot flowers? My dude, it vaporizes us. I'm talking Mr. Stark. I don't feel so good. Disintegration. <sighs> I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm a red balloon. You see this here food chain of balloons? I'm at the bottom of the barrel, my guy. I'm the literal plankton of the balloons. And now you're telling me I have to go up against a hypersonic god boosted T6 super monkey? <gasps> nah, chief. I quit. <sighs> you know, he makes a pretty good point. Guys, if you're excited for today's video, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications. We're about 20,000 subscribers away from 1 million subscribers, and that is absolutely insane, guys. So if you want to be a part of the channel before we hit a million subscribers, please consider subscribing now. It might be your only chance, guys. All right, guys. It actually feels like such an honor to be back here on firing range like it really feels super nice here we can go like long range and enhanced eyesight oh my gosh hypersonic is so crazy look at how fast all the monkeys just attack constantly like this is a normal dart monkey but with just hypersonic abilities but also i'd like to point out guys that balloons are now almost 10 times as strong just to make it a little bit more fair because otherwise the tower would be so powerful that we'd never be able to see how truly powerful it is and because of how powerful all the towers are going to be we're actually going to be going for a pretty long while i don't even know we might go past round 100 just to see the actual insanity that an ultra boosted t6 hypersonic tower is going to be because this is the strongest tower that we've ever seen here on the channel and i'm actually so excited to give it a try i'm really happy because with hypersonic we should be getting a lot more money right we're not getting a lot more money with hypersonic. I was hoping to get more money and it looks like we are so far we are not getting more money. So it is going to take a little bit of time. If we're getting normal money guys, I'm actually going to get a couple of cash drops because I want us I want us to start making some money because if we don't have enough money, we're going to just be very sad individuals. Like ultra super duper sad. First things first, we're going to sell this guy and we're going to put down this guy. This is going to be our T6 tower, right? So this guy needs a million Pops, you heard me. He needs one million pops in order to become a T6 tower. So, so we need twenty thousand dollars, guys. <clears throat> <clears throat> okay, normally this doesn't matter, but since it costs so much money, ideally I want to be able to like get this. I we need to get the ball rolling for money because we're gonna need like hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars. We need, actually need millions and millions of dollars. Now the real question is here: Can we put? Can we put? Yes. We'll put a raft right here, <laughs> and then we can put Benjamin on the raft. There we go. Benjamin, he's on the beach, just floating on a pool. He's already at 27,000, which is really nice. Look at how fast he attacks. Uh-oh, can this guy not? Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. All right, so we're going to put down a village, so that way this guy can pop everything. There we go, and now he can pop every single type of balloon. No problem. Hypersonic, we don't have to worry about. Like, hypersonic's just always happening, so that's not nothing we have to work towards. We do need to work towards making sure that this guy is as powerful as possible. So we need to make sure that before this guy gets to 1 million pops, 
He is upgraded to the T5 version, which is important. And we also need to focus on getting a true support Sun God Temple. For those of you that don't know how to get a support Sun God Temple, just continue watching the video, follow along with what I'm doing. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory, and I'll do my best to explain it as we go through the process. The main thing you want to be focusing on right now is making sure that you have banana farms. Because it, everything is so expensive that you need this foundation of just like endless money. Endless dollars, okay? Do we want to get like laser blasts? It's relatively inexpensive. Oh my gosh, look at how many lasers there are. I am actually so scared to see what's going to happen when we get the true... Like, this guy is going to be insane. Nothing is going to be able to get by. And you have to keep in mind that right now, the balloons are at 10 times strength. He's going to be at a million in no time. We definitely want to start making money for it. So there's Dark Knight. Look at how fast he shoots. Brrr. Yeah, we need Dark Champion, which is 64,000. But we don't have that kind of money yet. I'm a little bit worried that we're not going to be able to get him upgraded to the T5 before he even gets fully upgraded. We're already on round 50, guys. We might not even be, like, fully there by the time we get to, like, round 100. This is how crazy this strategy is. Like, this is how much setup that it actually takes to get here. It's a lot of money. And so, luckily, we have the hypersonic as well as, you know, the T6, the Legend of the Light Tower to help us out here. But it's still no easy task. I want to get him upgraded to the Dark Champion as quickly as possible. And then eventually probably get to the other one. But bananas are bananas are more important right now, guys. How many pops? This guy already has 400,000 pops by round 60. Normally, guys, you're supposed to have... 400,000 pop by round 80. All right, here we go. Round 60. We're going up against this guy. Let's see. Okay. Let's keep going, guys. We're at $50,000. All right, guys. This is only a T3 tower, by the way. All right. T4 Dark Champion. Go. So now all we need is $250,000 for the Legend of the Night. And that is what I'm going to be working on for right now. So we're going to start saving up money so we can get our first Legend of the Night. You know what I actually would like is I'm going to get a couple of Thrives because it increases how much money we make by 25% for two rounds. So that is a lot of extra money. And the fact that we're going to be able to pop all these balloons is very nice. Look at that, 600,000 pops. Having the balloons 10 times stronger definitely helps because otherwise this would be way too easy. It'll be interesting going up against, like, a bad balloon that's 10 times as strong. All right, Legend of the Night, we're so close. Uh, we are so very close. Look at this. So he has made already $100,000. And we're, we can sell all of these for $20,000 each. $20,000 each. Look how close. Oh, my gosh. Are we, we are going to be able... All right, there we go. Legend of the Night, guys. We got it right before we hit a million pops. That was actually kind of... That was really close. So now what are we going to start doing? Well, it's time for us to start. Basically, for right now, we just need to start saving up money is the main is the main goal is to start saving up money. What we can actually do while we're saving money is we can start ultra boosting this guy. So we're we're saving right now. And then as soon as this guy hits 100 or 1 million pops, boom, he now turns into Legend of the Light. Also, the White Wedding is what is another name for him. Look at that. Look at all this. Look at how powerful he is. Global range. Look at how fast he's attacking. And this is just the beginning, guys. This is just the beginning. He's not even... We haven't even God boosted him yet. We haven't even begun God boosting him. He just has... He doesn't even have a village upgrade. That... This, like, this is... This is how crazy this is going to be, guys. Let's go ahead and we can go ahead and get Ultra Boost. And then we can just start Ultra Boosting this guy. We want this guy to be 10 times Ultra Boosted. Since we spent $100,000 on this, it's going to... Wait, what the heck? What's dropping? Did something drop? Never mind. I'm going crazy. Don't mind me, guys. Look at that. We've Ultra Boosted him three times. We need to Ultra Boost him a total of 10 times to get the maximum efficiency from it. Or... Oh my gosh. Wait. He just randomly... Sp what? That's so crazy. So randomly, he'll just spawn banana crates that spin around him. And you can collect the banana crates for money. One more, guys, and he's going to be fully ultra boosted. But that's just the beginning, guys. We still have so many other things that we can use to boost him. We could have used Oban to boost him since he is technically a magic tower. But I feel like I'd rather just have Benjamin because Benjamin's really nice to have. This is how you god boost a tower, guys. Because you need the... Tr oh, here's round 80, guys. 
All right, so that was a 10 times strength Zoe MG right here. Okay. So, Laser Blast, Plasma Blast, Sun Avatar, and then we want to upgrade him into the Sun Temple. I'm going to sell these because I don't want them him to absorb them because it wastes money. Okay. So, here we go. I'm going to turn him into the Sun Temple, and he's going to absorb this support tower, which is $100,000. So, Sun Temple, boom. And now we need to do this again with 600000 and we have 500000 so we need to get another support tower. So we're going to put this guy down and then we can just max this out. We want to make sure that is at the same value of $50,000 in support towers. It has to be support towers, guys. If it's not support towers, it's not going to work. And you will be very sad. I don't know why I got that path. We're going to go the top path. 21,000. Okay. And there we go. And now, guys, we can get the true Sun God Temple. And he's not in range, right? Oh, he is in... Wait, is he in range? Oh, he is... Since he is in range, guys, I do not want villages here. Because the last thing I want this Sun God Temple to do is absorb this guy. So instead, I'm just going to get Super Mines. 140,000 Support Tower. Sun, true Sun God. And we can absorb it. And so now, this is a support Sun God Temple, guys. His whole thing is to give a Sun God Temple boost. Now what we can do is we're going to put an Alchemist down. And then we can go ahead and make sure it's Permabrew. So now this guy is Permabrew and the true Sun God Temple. And he's 10 times Ultra Boosted. That leaves with $200,000. We actually don't really need much money anymore. So we can go ahead and sell all of these. Because we have enough money to be able to do whatever we want. And it's also really nice, guys. Because this guy makes us about $20,000 every single round. We have this guy as well. Look at all, like, the green goo on him from the Alchemist. Just constantly just, like, giving him all the bonuses. That's pretty crazy. All right, now we can also get ourselves a village. The village is going to be really nice because we need to get jungle drums. And then we need to get homeland defense. But we want to be able to do this with three towers, guys. This is where it's going to get pretty interesting. If you have three villages, and from there, we can go ahead. We're going to put a submarine in it. And we're going to immediately get the energizer. The Energizer decreases all cooldowns by 20%, which is very important. We're going to go ahead and get three tech bots. Why do we get three tech bots? Because we're going to link them to each of the villages. So we have a continuous strain of the attack boost that the village gives. Link it, and as soon as that wears off, we're going to link it to the next one, guys. So if you want to, you can... There we go. There's the next one. And then we're going to link it the last one so it's always going at all times for the ultimate strength three two one and oh wow wait we only need two no way we only need two guys i was wrong and then we want to get this guy back up to ultra boost i can't believe i sold no i sold my tech bot and then we want to have this guy ultra boost this guy and then we can actually tech bot onto him so we continuously ultra boost him and here we go ladies and gentlemen this is a T6 hypersonic god boosted tower. And and for the bad balloon round, wait, wait, ready guys? Wait, 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 no, 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 no. We're gonna monkey boost this, guys, okay? All towers attack twice as fast for 15 seconds, guys. If you guys have been enjoying the videos up until now, the content up until now, hit that like button, please. Show your love and support by subscribing to the channel. We put a lot of hard work and effort and, and love into all the videos we make guys and you can show your support by just hitting that little subscribe button let's do this guys so immediately we're gonna go out and we're gonna ultra boost go oh my gosh holy cow go look at his pop count oh my gosh that was so many pops look at his he has seven 18 million 19 million guys that, it's like literally like 3 million balloons around. Guys, all right, I tell you what, I tell you what, I tell you what, I tell you what. If this video, if this video gets 20,000 likes, guys, I will do this challenge where we take, and we'll take off the 10 times HP from the balloons and see how far this tower can get. I think this tower could get anywhere up until round maybe 500. This guy is going to be here a while, so I'm going to go get lunch, guys.